right, what's up, Spartans? My name is Mr. McFadden. We got Miss Palomares here. Miss Palomares, you want to tell them what we got going on? All right, guys. So every Student Choice Wednesday, Mr. McFadden and I host a virtual field trip. So if you come to the virtual field trip, um, you're entered for a chance to win a prize. So our prizes, you can get Spartan gear or maybe a hydro flask, and Miss Hanohano is going to send you your prize in the mail. So today we're gonna pick our winners from the virtual field trips. So let's see our first winner. Let's see, let's see. Drum roll. Oh, Victor, Victor yeah. Congratulations, Victor. dude. That is our first winner for week one. All Let's right. see who the next winner is. Okay, let's start it again. Another drum roll. Alan, Alan. Alan and Victor, congratulations. You guys are our winners for the virtual field trip raffles. Miss um, Hano will be contacting you guys and mailing you over either Spartan gear, whatever your prize is. Next week, Miss Paula Mars has a little surprise for you guys. Um, she hasn't even told me what the surprise is yet, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. In two weeks, you guys got the um, Black History Month Museum created by some of your own eighth graders, some of your peers. So I think it's gonna be pretty dope. I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. Some of the submissions so far have been cool. So excited to see what we got coming up in the future. Uh, Ms. Palmares, you got anything you wanna say before we end this video? No, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys make it out to Student Choice Wednesdays. See you guys there. Yep. See you guys later. It's Miss Vera here with some tech tips from our Genius Period 3 class. This week we cover digital citizenship, privacy, and security. According to commonsensemedia.org, identity theft is a type of crime in which your private information is stolen and used for criminal activity. They do this by phishing. Phishing is when someone poses as an institution and sends you personalized messages asking you for private information. We had a great discussion in class this week and Stephanie says, you can protect yourself from phishing by looking for clues such as spelling and grammar errors. Companies would not make these mistakes because it makes them look bad. Andreas added on, another way to protect yourself is to simply ignore the emails. No major company would randomly ask you for personal information. And finally, Aiden says, be wary about the Wi-Fi in public spaces. Make sure that you're only on secured browsers. And finally, this week we made infographics about how to protect yourself online. You always want to use strong passwords, don't open mail from strangers, avoid unsecured Wi-Fi, and also avoid sharing personal information. This was created with Adobe Spark Video. It's super easy to use. You should check it out, especially if you are into making videos. This is credited with work from Stephanie, Andreas, and Adrian. Have a great day, everyone. Must watch in honor of Black History Month. Ratings can be found on Common Sense Media. Happy watching, Spartans. Hello and good day Spartans. My name is Maximilian Giovanna. Today's date is February 26, 2021. Our character counts call for today is from Theodore Roosevelt. He said, fairness. This country will not be a good place for any of us to live in unless we make it a good place for all of us to live in. My favorite colors are red, white, and blue. Speaking of that, let's do the pledge.
Next is the daily news. Progress reports are out and so those should be actually mailed home to you this time around. Um, but you can also check it out in queue, but make sure you're looking at those grades, working hard to get your grade up. It's really important that you don't fall too far behind. Um, if you're following the COVID numbers are getting better. So um, we're getting more optimistic that those of you that chose to return to school this year that hopefully we'll get to do that. Um, we'll continue giving you updates um, next Tuesday at the school board meeting. We'll have more information. Um, but each week we look at those numbers and they're trending in the right direction. And um, some folks are starting to get vaccines and things. So, so that's all really, really good news. And finally, um, not too much to share today, but finally the last update I want to give is school pictures. Mr. Del Rio sent out um, information regarding that. But please, please make sure you submit a school picture. Um, remember, you get to pick your picture and you get to submit it. Um, it's really important because all of our students are getting a yearbook this year. We want your picture to be there. We don't want just some Spartan head that says photo not available. We want a picture of you. So please make sure you're submitting those. I hope all of you have a great weekend. Keep working hard in class and never forget to read, lead, and succeed. Have a great day, Spartans. Hey Spartans, good morning and happy Friday. Miss Hanohano here with Hot Topics with Miss Hanohano. I have one very simple thing to ask you to do this weekend, and that is submit your yearbook picture. There's been tons of information. I'll put more information on Instagram, but um, Mr. Del Rio, Miss Pyle, Mr. Browning, and our wonderful software PTA have worked really hard to buy every single one of you a yearbook. So the yearbook's gonna be totally free. We're gonna get you a yearbook, but we need you to submit your picture. You have to do it this weekend. They are due Monday, March 1st. Um, email Mr. Del Rio if you have any questions. I can't wait to see all of your pictures. Submit your pictures. Bye, Spartans. Once again, my name is Maxim Maria Trubano, and today's date is February 26, 2021. Have a great day, Spartans. Don't forget to read, lead, and succeed. Hello, 8th graders. Mrs. Hayes here to give you some in very, very important information on what's going on. First, the Spanish placement test. Um... Everyone in PE should have taken the Spanish placement test um, by the end of the day today. Everyone in PE should have taken the Spanish placement test in their PE class by the end of the day today. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Hayes, I missed it. Or Mrs. Hayes, I don't have PE class. All right, everyone in PE um, that missed PE or doesn't have a PE class, I'm sending you an email today. That email will have a link for you to go to on Wednesday, Wednesday, March 3rd. That's the next week, Wednesday, March 3rd at 1045. This will be during student choice time. So you'll come in, you'll take the test, and when you're done, then you can go to your other student choice thing. What day is it? What day is it? Wednesday, March 3rd at 10.45 a.m. If you need to take eighth graders, eighth graders, if you need to take the Spanish placement test. Now that's the test that's gonna let them know what Spanish class um, that you um, should be going in, uh, in when you go to Warren, okay? All right, next, future freshman night. Ah, say what? Yes, we are all ready at the point where you need to start thinking about high school. In that same email, you will see this flyer. I will attach the flyer to the email, okay? It says all the information that you need to know. So March 3rd, right? March 3rd, Wednesday, March 3rd. What else is happening Wednesday, March 3rd? Oh, the Spanish placement test. But that evening at 5 p.m. is future freshman night. This is your opportunity to get information on the classes over at Warren High School and find out what you're going to pick for registration. Oh my goodness. Yes, I said it. You are going to need to register for Warren High School. 
Wouldn't you like to know what the classes are like? Yes, you would. Go to Future Freshman Night. Okay, um, so that's going to be March 3rd from 5 to 6. Now, on the flyer, it has the little QR code, but it also has the web page. It's just taking you to Warren's web page. And they're going to have the Future Freshman Night link and everything up there on their web page. On what day? What day was that? That was March 3rd. 5 to 6 p.m. Future freshman night. Be there or be square. Now, the next day, there's going to be a night for your parent. Um, if they have questions, you can go to. I highly suggest if you have questions that you can go with your parent um, to the uh, question and answer session. Um, then we've got the counselors. The Warren counselors are coming to your math Zoom class. So they will be in your math Zoom class and they're going to show you how to register for your classes over at Warren High. But Mrs. Hayes, I don't know if I'm going to Warren. Still do the registration. Everyone should do the registration. Fill it out, turn it in, um, just in case. It's just in case. Now, if you think you're going to be going to another high school, a different high school, um, or you're applying for uh, some other high school, Make sure you have your parents call Miss Anna in the office and let Miss Anna know because she needs to be on the lookout for when you get accepted because when you get accepted, then she's got to pull your file because your file shouldn't go to Warren. Your file needs to go to that school. So she needs to be aware of that and it needs to go in the computer. So once you get accepted and we have the acceptance letter, okay? So it's really important that your parents call um, and let Miss Anna know if you're planning on not attending Warren next year, okay? If you guys have any, any, any other questions, let me know. All right, if we have promotion ceremonies, that's if. We don't know if we are or if we're not. Just remember, anyone with one, with more than one F may not be allowed to participate. So you need to check your grades, turn your work in, and go to class. If you don't do these things, you're not going to have the grades that you need. And then when it comes down to, you know, whether we are or not, or if we are, um, if you have more than one, you may not be able to participate. All right. If you have any further questions, here's my information. Jot that down. Give you a few minutes if you need it. But please, please, please email me or I have a number that you can text me um, with any questions with what I just presented. I am so excited. We're getting towards the end of the year. Don't forget eighth graders that your grades will be inputted on May 21st, a little bit earlier than the other students. That's because we need to make sure that we have everything in place just in case um, we may have a promotion ceremonies. So your date for your final grades that really count and that are going to make all these determinations is May 21st. You guys have an amazing weekend. See you later.